No, no, I woke him up. I didn't mean to make things more difficult for you. No, I'm more difficult than I already have. No, we haven't slept more than an hour since I brought him straight home from the hospital. Well, I think that's to be expected. You know, he, he had smoke inhalation and... No wonder. It's no wonder. I drove him around, you know. Always used to work, get him to sleep as a last resort. But I couldn't even get him to sleep. I swear I must have put 300 miles on my car. Sung every lullaby I know. Yeah. Come on, here we Hi. Go. Well, I think he's probably a little unsettled being shuffled around so much. Yeah, well, every child needs to know where his home is. That's what my mom always used to tell my dad. She was always determined to make sure, sure that Lula didn't grow up restless, you know? Always on the run like I did. She used to, like, take one of my dad's shirts like this. Oh. And then she'd wrap her up and rub on her back, take her around, like, take over her crib, show her toys, all the familiar things in the house. See, this is... This is your crib. These are all your toys, and this is your home. A place you can always come back to, a place you will always feel safe. This is probably really, really bad timing, given everything. But lucky I have really missed you. You've already been over. Say hello. Mrs. Ramirez, she stopped by, she offered to take care of Cam so we oh. could come by and visit you. Hi, baby. Oh, you have no idea how much I needed the. Mm. Mommy missed you so much. How's he sleeping? Uh, he was a little out of shape at first. Are you giving him the new formula? Yeah. You know, he was a little cranky from the hospital and everything that's happened. And then I remembered a little trick my mom used to use to get Lulu to go to sleep. Did the trick. And what about his medicine? Twice a day. Oh, good. And he's got it all covered, right, Jake? 